Hey everyone, it's me, Nick Avocado. We're back home. Shooby doo, we're home. Hello, we're back home. Shooby doo, we're home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy. Cause we're eating 99 cent food. Oh, my voice is really low today. Well, do you know why? I just woke up. You guys, I slept for 13 hours. Now, before we get into today's video, I know it's like 5 p.m. I literally woke up at 3. I went to sleep at midnight. Oh my God. Follow my Instagram at Nikocado Avocado. And if you do, I might just follow you back. Anyways, um, I have a special announcement today. Um, I was trying to hold it in. I really wanted to surprise you all. But I can't hold it. I can't hold it in. Oh, and first, I'm still giving these away. Once every week, someone gets one for free. So click the link down below, enter your email, and you just might get one. I have lots of people saying they're getting one. Thank you to my sponsor, Coldest Water Bottle. I, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have, oh, and thank you to everyone who thinks I'm losing weight. I'm not losing weight. It's just water weight that goes up and down, fluctuating. However, I've been making really good effort off camera to eat really clean no more snacks here and there unless i'm on live streaming on you now but you know what i mean like i've and i walk every single day low intensity high intensity makes you puff unless you're used to it i'm telling you it's it, it's backwards what you think you think you have to go to the gym and pump all this stuff and get exhausted you're actually going to gain weight get swollen mess up your metabolism and then eat more and gain more weight <laughs> at least that's been my experience watching other people and yeah so thank you everyone who thinks I'm losing weight I'm just changing what I eat off camera and um, that's it <laughs> it's really really fun oh my god but um, yeah so I have a big announcement are you ready <laughs> oh I was actually gonna surprise you all maybe I should still surprise you no I need to actually need mm -hmm. by the way I had pizza yesterday I'm telling you pizza gives me heartburn like no other people think I've, I'm like a walking heartburn machine because of all these mukbangs Actually, I'm not. Most of these foods do not give me issues. I never really have to like take acid reflux medicine or Pepto Bismarck or anything. I'm usually peachy clean, unless it's like something really spicy, that's painful, or pizza. I think it's the cooked tomatoes. I can eat raw tomatoes all day long. I have tomatoes right behind the camera. Actually, you guys want to see? Let me show you. These are for, from my garden. Ooh, look at my tomatoes. I eat like two to three every single day. They're raw. They're heirlooms, different colors. Mm. Shout out to my husband who grew them. There's a few rotten ones in there, but don't you worry. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so before I tell you the surprise, let me take you to uh, the dollar store with me. We are doing the 99 cent store. Now here in Pennsylvania, it's called Dollar General or Dollar Tree or Family Dollar. It's all pretty much the same thing, but it's not technically the 99 cent store. I don't think. I think that's its own company, its own brand. They might be competitions. I think 99 cent store is more West Coast, but correct me if I'm wrong. They might have them in other parts of the East Coast, but that's what we have, Dollar General. So I've done this once before on Nikocado 2 channel. Oh my God, there's a Christmas tree. Nikocado 2 channel and delicious. I was pleasantly surprised. Some of the things were like, ugh, but some of it, I actually want to watch the video again. Check it out. I want to watch the video again to see what I liked, but I kind of want to get new things too. I just want to get an array of stuff. Everything costs $1. We'll get like 20 things at least. And we're going to have a big feast together. So without further ado, let's go shopping. You guys like to see me out and about. You guys seem to really like that. When I did the Amberlynn Reed video and I went to Walmart, people love that. They're like, oh my God, I love following you around to get stuff. Was it the Amberlynn Reed video or was it the, um, oh, which video was that? Where I had to get, oh no, that was, um, that was on my main channel. The, I have too many channels. Let's just go. One, two, three. Bam. Hi. I am out in public. You never see me out in public. So it seems like, in terms of food, there's not much here. It's also very quiet. You could hear a pin drop. There's like no food here at all. There's nothing here. Okay, so this is the party aisle. I'm gonna have a party for my weight loss, which is gonna be fun, but other than that, um, there's no food. <laughs> party for the weight loss, hey. Do I look skinny? I don't know. You got to tell me. I'm not trying. Well, I'm. it's more about being healthy. It's not about being skinny. I don't, there's like no food. They don't even have a freezer section. Okay, here's the first. Um, they have pasta. So they have lots of chips down here. Chips and dip. Oh, I love chips and dip. Maybe I could do chips and dip. We have candy, but you guys know I don't like candy. Oh my God, there's nothing. That's it. 
just these two aisles. Um, pistachios? I, I was actually more interested in the frozen food. Kind of like when I did this in Florida. They don't have that here. Here's the first aisle I was in. They have some bagels. This is just, maybe this is the challenge. Get full off of this stuff. I'm not happy. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, I am not happy. Oh, that's a beautiful sauce. I love that sauce. <clears throat> I'm a vlogger, hey. I really don't want anything from here. I'm gonna have to Google another place. Be right back. Um, my spirits are really low right now, just being honest. Um, and no, it's not because the dollar store didn't have what I wanted. Um, it's for another reason. Which I might talk about here. I'm really hungry. I mean, I'm excited for my food, but now I just feel like crying. Um, sorry if I'm shaking. Oh, she didn't even give me. Oh, oh yes, she did. So I went to Carl's Jr. instead, aka Hardee's. Uh, one, two, three. Bam. Cheers. You know how yesterday I talked about Laura Lee opening up some sensitive topics that pertain to her own family, which I think is, um, Admirable. She doesn't have to do that. Most YouTubers don't do that. I mean, let's think. Joey Graceffa, he's admitted that his mom's an alcoholic. Um, B loves life. Well, she hasn't, I don't think she's talked about her sister, but we know her sister could. Ooh, these taste weird. We can tell her sister's a little lost. I mean, tar likes to target her online. Oh, the fries are weird. Um, I'm gonna have a sip of each. Actually, I'm not gonna have, I'm just gonna have the Powerade. And the soda is gonna go to probably my father. I'll be right back. So, Feels good to eat. I, I stand by that, I think. To come on here onto the internet and talk about really sad or embarrassing or sensitive topics is admirable. I will talk about my own self. I'll talk about Orlin because that's my family in terms of like, you know, the next generation. <clears throat> but I've never talked about, ever, ever, the barbecue sauce tastes really interesting. I've never talked about my own. Half of my family members, my siblings, you don't even know I have. I, um, like to keep things private. Some of my other brothers, um, some of my other sisters. One of my sisters, I, I have a big family. One of them came on camera, but I, I choose, you know, not to talk about my dad or my mom or my cousins or my aunts or my uncles. Um, even stories about grandparents. I've always chose not to do that. Let's have a bite of this. This looks really good. Wow, that looks really epic. Oh my God. That looks epic.
It needs some ranch or something. Don't worry. I got it. I would really like to not talk about. You know, it's just. I just don't want to do that. Um, I, I'll talk about drama and things and scandals all day long about people I don't know. But when it comes to people that I know, um, in love, I just want to keep that private, which I feel like I'm allowed to. I mean, I'm allowed to have something. Tastes better with the ranch, but. Well, something happened today. Right around the time I was in the dollar store. And you know, it involves my family. And sometimes I wish I could get here on camera I wish I could talk about that part of my life, what I've gone through, who I live with, the things I've deal. And you're thinking like, well, it can't be that awful. You live, you live with them willingly. And I know, I know. Um, Orlin and I were in not the best of circumstances when we moved out of Columbia, and I asked my parents for help, and they said, yeah. They rarely come down here in the basement anyway. Um, it's a big house, there's lots of room. So, I appreciate that, you know, I appreciate being able to get back up on my feet and move forward. But everything has a cost. I mean, there's a pro to con, there's a pro and a con to everything in life. And let me have a bite of this. This is the chicken sandwich. I wonder how it compares to the Popeye's one. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like this better than that big burger. Yeah, mmm, that's good. So this deal was um, two burgers and a drink for like $5. Here's the other burger. Well, excuse me, a sandwich. This is a spicy chicken sandwich. This is a little spicy. And this here is a cheeseburger. This is what it looks like. So let's have my first bite. That's good. I like that better than this one. This was the expensive one. It's huge. I saw it on the menu. I'm like, wow, that's so much meat, so much cheese, bacon. It looks extreme, you know, but the, it's just, I don't want to say dry, but yeah, it needs some flavor. Whereas this, mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Very good. Okay, yeah, so. I don't even wanna talk about this on camera. 
everybody has their secrets. Everybody goes through things that they don't want people to know. And I'm one of those, I'm just like you. Um, the dynamics. Um, it comes to, I, let's just say Orlin left for more than one reason. For more than one reason, Orlin left. And um, I really don't. <sighs> it's one of those things where it's like, I'd rather be on my own and be able to save less and go through all that sometimes than accepting a favor from a family sometimes and have to there's a cost you know what I mean not a physical mon monetary cost but there's other costs and uh, maybe you can use your imagination um, costs emotion emotional cost <laughs> could be lots of different things abuse um, threats, um, being treated poorly, um, stealing, being lied to, abuse, and it's, you know, I don't know, my spirits are really down right now, I just am, I'm happy that I'm leaving soon, and I am very grateful for everything that's, the chance to be able to get back on my feet and stuff, but it, all I'm trying to say is that everything has a cost, and some of my cost, not physical, but, I mean, not monetary, but emotional, um, is there. You might not see it. I've never, ever talked about things pers very personal. I'll talk about myself all day long. I'm willing to. I'm happy to. I want to talk about Orlin. It's fine. It's a very odd tasting barbecue sauce. I don't like it. We're gonna stick with the ranch. Ooh. Mmm, much better. Before you say, oh, you're just trying to give us this ambiguous, nebulous little drama that we don't know what's happening, so we just keep. Uh uh. If I want, if I. Listen, listen. If I needed to be extra and dramatic and I needed to, if I needed views and meltdowns, there's been many meltdowns off camera that I will never talk about. Trust me, ask Orlin. There, there could have been so many times where I could have grabbed the camera and um, let people know what I'm feeling. And I didn't because it, I didn't, I don't want to, it's just not worth it to me. I'll cry all day long about myself. I stub my toe. Oh, boo-hoo, I'm sad because I'm gonna go to jail. You know, other, well, I didn't cry there, but I was very, very pissed, but. I don't know, seeing Laura Lee's video yesterday made me really inspired. But also she did it, she waited for the father to pass away. I don't, I forget what the mother's terms were. Her sister, I, I just, and also that's all she mentioned. I mean, I have lots of siblings. I have lots of people involved in different messes. And I, um, anyways, so all I'm trying to say is I deal with things off camera. <laughs> Orlin has dealt with things off camera. There's, he didn't leave just to find us an apartment. That's all I'm gonna say. He left for other reasons too. Mmm. I'm not looking for sympathy. If I needed sympathy, I would have, once a week, would have made a video. Shoot. 
I'm just so rattled right now that I can't even... I'm not gonna fake it. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I'm back home. I'm a naturally happy person, bubbly, goal-oriented. I envision great things. I'm happy, except when I'm crying, but whatever. I'm very like extreme happy, extreme sad, but usually extreme happy. I caught Orland in the drive-thru while getting this. And um, I told him what had just happened. Um, mmm, that's really delicious. I think another reason why I'm just saying this very, you have no idea who I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, half these people I've never mentioned or brought on camera, whatever. I just, I want you to know that, um, you know, if you have mothers or fathers or aunts or uncles or cousins or siblings or sisters or brothers or your boyfriend's parents, your girlfriend's in-laws, your, your wife's in-laws, your wife's sister, your boyfriend's brother, your husband's in-laws, and it's not pretty, you're not alone, okay? You're not alone. And I bet you wish you could go on Facebook. See, my outlet is this. And I'm sure maybe even some of you do it. You go on Facebook and you give some of that family member a good roasting. I've seen it with some of my friends roasting their family and it always feels the most intense because it's family. So just know that you are not, ooh, look at that. You're not the only ones, I promise. I need more ranch. You're not the only ones. I, And I'm just gonna leave it at that, okay? I don't need people guessing who and what was said and what. You don't even, you, honestly, no one would even, no one's even gonna know. And that's, that's good. The point is to let you know that sometimes it's hard for me to deal. It's so hard for me to deal with it. I mean, some days it just completely ruins my spirits. These are good, crunchy. Do any of you wish you could just get a megaphone? Shoot, go on TV. Let everyone know what an awful such and such is to you. I mean, it's one thing about friends or strangers or coworkers or whatever, um, but family, I just, it is the most intense and it's also, I feel you have to be careful. I'll roast a friend, I'll roast a coworker, I'll roast someone I never met. It's a lot easier because you don't think about them. They're not in your phone contacts. They're not on your Facebook. They're not 
You don't have photos of them in your house, <laughs> you know? When it comes to those people, you have to hold it in, and it's hard, and I know you guys do it. Well, maybe not all of you, but some of you guys do that. You hold it in, and it's hard. I'm with you, I'm right there with you. And this time, this time, this time things that would happen to me, you know, regularly, things that would happen to me, I now see happen to Orlin. And that's even worse because it's like, That's my baby. That is the love of my life. And don't you treat him that way. Don't you dare, dare abuse him. That's my baby. How, how dare you be disgusting to him? my baby and that's like that's like another straw being plucked it's okay I can take it I'm used to it I grew up with it but that's my baby and you don't even Some really awful things happened when I was in Los Angeles. Um, and he didn't even tell me because he didn't want to ruin my time there. And I had to come home and hear everything. And Orlin is so selfless and so helpful and he'll bend over backwards for a stranger. It's just too many people, too many dynamics, too many problems. Um, and it's something that I wish I could share, but I just won't. I will never. And it's strange because I got inspiration. I felt encouragement from seeing Laura Lee talk about her alcoholic dad and how he would hit her and her mother and they couldn't pay bills and they were poor, their electricity got pulled because they couldn't get off drugs. And her sister went to rehab and blah, blah, blah. Just, and seeing her sit there successful and strong and out of that dark, dark, dark place. gave me, I don't know, not encouragement, but an idea that maybe one day I could share the truth about my family, but I, I never will. And I, I personally, I personally, it's, it's strange. Like I felt that what she did was so admirable, but at the same time, so damaging. Because if one of her family members didn't like that, there's no turning it back. How many millions of people saw, you know? And things in family can always be worked out. Things in family can get better. Things in family can, they just, they seem so much more intense because it's family. And you look at it and you're like, it's not that big of a deal. Sometimes that's the case for some things. Which is why I kind of feel like she shouldn't have done that. Um. supposed to tell you my surprise I'm gonna tell you tomorrow it's too far in the video and it's too late I I'll tell you tomorrow I'll be I'll be ha it's gonna be fine I don't I'm not looking for you guys to worry about me and I'm not even asking for prayers it's not it's it's just so it's lots of different people it's, it's every just 
just use your imagination. Think so. Thinks of the crap that goes on in your your house with your family, your nephews, your nieces, your sister did this, your brother did this, your dad did this. It just use your imagination. It's no different. It's the same thing for me. Um. But I'm happy to, um, I'm happy to, I'm happy to have Orlin in my life. If I did have Orlin in my life, I, oh, it would not be pretty. It would not be pretty. You can see a lot more meltdowns, that's for sure. I probably do a lot of things that I regret. I don't really regret anything on YouTube in terms of what I say and upload. Maybe a few things. But he's my rock and he helps me think things through, sometimes, <laughs> before I follow through. You know what I mean? Before I follow through. I miss him so much. This happens to me. I sometimes get super sad when he's gone because um, I don't, I, I can't snuggle with someone. I can't snuggle in bed and have a hug or, you know what I mean? It's different when it's a romantic partner. It's just not the same and I don't have. So, I don't know what he's saying, but all I know is that I'm so happy to have Orlin. I'm so happy to have you guys. Even though sometimes I feel like I don't deserve it, all I'm doing is eating. I've always aspired to do great things and change the world and make the world feel something beautiful through my music. That was my goal as a performer and I sometimes feel like all I do is eat and I have this audience that I don't know why. I'm very thankful for it, but it's also a, almost a feeling of guilt. Like, there, there are people out there much smarter than me, much more um, dedicated, people with many degrees behind their name, and I am a college dropout who is dramatic, and uh, I appreciate you guys a lot. Do you ever feel like you could write a book, a story about your life? Tell the story through your eyes. Do you ever feel like your story is worth publishing? Do you ever feel like your life could be a movie? That so much has happened, so much joy, so much grief, so much pain, so much bliss, so many exciting and dramatic and shocking moments that it would make a great movie. Do you ever feel that way? <laughs> I don't know if that's a normal thing to think, but I think it all the time. I remember before YouTube, in college, I remember one time I posted on my Facebook, oh my God, my life could be a movie. And um, I was a fresh, not a freshman, freshman or sophomore? Probably freshman. Um, so I was an undergraduate first year, and I was friends with a lot of grad students, doctorate students, PhD students, and I remember one of them commented on this Facebook post, and they said, um, why don't you try living a little bit more of life before you make that movie? And I thought, like, I don't have to be 90 years old to have a story. But uh, she was kind of right because... Oh, so much has happened between 
first year undergrad to now. That's been almost 10 years. Wow. 10 years of so much. Uh, <laughs> struggle and triumph and beauty. Pain. And I wonder if we all have that, if we all, or if that's just me, or just some people are extra special with their stories, with their movies. I wonder, I, I personally think most people would say that their life could be a movie. Because even in the simplest lives, they all have stories and they all have, you know, the bad characters, the protagonists, the antagonists, they all, in their own forms, in their own ways, you know, be it a neighbor, be it a mother, be it their own husband, be it anything. <sighs> and I'm gonna be okay, so I'm not making this for sympathy. It's just, boom, right before I had to film my video, um, some shit hit the fan, as they say, and I feel it. I feel it. I'm also one of those people that really, really feels. Um, <laughs> it's like amplified. So, there's that. That's, I'm sorry that I don't even, this is a bad mukbang, but I keep my word. I'm here every day, rain or shine. Today is a rainy, gloomy day. It's actually not gloomy. It's actually nice outside, but The sun doesn't need to be hidden in order for it to be dark. The sun doesn't need to be hidden in order for it to be dark. I feel like grabbing my violin. <clears throat> mm. I don't know if you know, but I play violin, well played. And my violin saved me when I was growing up from truly feeling lost. I felt like I had a home within the the music, within the lyrics of music, the unspoken word, I felt like I had a home in that wooden box. Um, I felt like it loved me back, despite how much work I had to put into it. Music truly saved me. And that's why when I talk about classical music and I get all like emotional and I think of all these things and... Uh, da, 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 da. It's because I put my real life and I told a story through the notes without having to say a single word. And that is such a wonderful way to release. To release sadness and joy and happiness and surprise and anxiety. <laughs> without having to take anyone down or make a big scene. You just play a song.
sorry. I'm not sure what to say next. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I know I'm not the only one who keeps the utmost personal sadness to themselves. That's hard. But it's a must. Because things could change around. I don't know. <laughs> things could change around. Um, despite wanting to say things that happen or have happened to me, I just want to be able to live with myself knowing I expose someone I love. You know, I couldn't, I expose someone on YouTube, I'll expose a friend, an ex-friend, I'll expose whatever. But I don't, I could never expose my own family. Like I said in the Laura Lee video yesterday, um, I know someone and he is waiting for his dad to die before he, and they have a YouTube channel, by the way, before he grabs the camera and lets it all out. It's kind of sad. It's like, wow, the guy's dead and all you have is mean things to say, but sometimes it's just the truth. And you can only take so much. Well, I'm gonna get going. Thank you for your time. Sorry this was really vague and you don't know if I'm talking about my own sister. You don't know if I'm talking about my third cousin. You don't know if I'm talking about my grandfather that lives down the street that's harassing us. You don't know what I'm talking about. You, and I'm happy. I'm, I would like to keep it that way. I guess my, what I want to say in this video, my message is that I struggle too when it comes to very personal sadness. And it affects me just like you. And... I'm also just like you, that you want to tell your story, but you know you shouldn't. Or at least not while they're walking around on Earth, <laughs> you know. Um, and some things, I mean, I'm gonna be 90 years old by the time I could. So it's just not worth it. Everyone has their own internal battles that they are choosing to keep internal. And there's usually very good reasons for keeping it on the inside. And I'm sorry, I just got hit today. Bad news. Um, and I really miss Orland. <laughs>